I'm here to address some of the most persistent issues plaguing our city, as well as offer my plans to improve our infrastructure should I be elected Superior Court Judge of Pennsylvania. The first and primary issue I'd like to address is the crime rate within Philadelphia. The tough on crime politics of the 70s have failed. Crime only increases, prisons overcrowd, and the same citizens cycle through jail again and again and again. Why? Because to jail a man is to treat the symptom, not the cause. Our justice system is meant to protect the city and to uphold justice, yet we see time and time again that it targets our most vulnerable citizens. People from low-income families make up such a large percentage of our city's population and an even larger percentage of our prison population. These people, who often cannot afford a lawyer and do not have access to a proper education, those who are uninformed of their rights in legal proceedings, they are most susceptible to exploitation by corrupt lawyers and judges. We will not repeat the mistakes of our forefathers. We will stop these problems at the source by addressing housing and food instability. We will address the needs of children to have a safe, stable, and loving home environment. As Superior Court Judge of Pennsylvania, I would be given the authority to judge court cases pertaining to children and families. With this, I plan to address a major cause of crime and unrest within the population, that is, child abuse and neglect. The best way to break the cycle of violence within our city is by ending violence within our homes. I'm advocating for early intervention in the case of suspected child abuse. We need not only intervene, but ensure a support network for these children going through such tumultuous times. Access to adequate housing and reliable education is a top priority of mine, and I hope to secure such conditions for every child that enters my courtroom. Building a community together where everyone is safe and provided for is the only way we can survive.